Satellite picture showing one little piece of energy came in very quickly, but it bumped into our extremely dry air that's over us at the surface, but also in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, so it just evaporated. This leading edge will probably start to evaporate too once it gets in later on tonight, then we'll wait for the main piece of energy to come in. So you can see these little, some precipitation tried to move in, maybe squeezed out a flake or two a couple of hours ago into the southwestern mountains, but that really that's about it. But look what's coming later on. Winter storm warning starts at midnight tonight and goes until noon on Sunday, above 30 500 feet for Buncombe County, the northern and central mountains here. Some sleet could be mixed in from time to time and then really tomorrow night into Sunday morning could even see some freezing rain, especially in this area right here, backed up against the eastern slopes of the mountains where that cold air is trapped. Same story here for the winter weather advisory for western McDowell County all the way up into just east of Boom, eastern slopes of the mountains and including uh, Madison County, one to three plus inches of snow or even some sleep. In Greenville area right now, 61 degree temperature on this Friday evening, a west breeze at 12 miles per hour. Uh, mostly cloudy skies to partly cloudy skies, currently 51 degrees in Asheville. North to northwest winds at 16 miles per hour. 59 degrees in Spartanburg, a west breeze at 10 miles per hour. Humidity very low at only 25%. And mid to high level clouds in Anderson, currently 61 degree temperature. North to northwest winds at 15 miles per hour. Humidity at 32%. Here are the current temperatures across the area. Not too bad in 65 in Elberton, 62 in Abbeville, 61 degrees in Greenwood, 59 in Lawrence. It's 61 in Atlanta, a little bit milder today, a little bit more pleasant in the afternoon. Big warm up out to our west, but this air is not going to get here because all this cold air to the north is going to wedge itself down because that Arctic high is going to park itself in eastern Canada, and then it's going to ooze all the way down into the western Carolinas and northeastern Georgia as we go through the weekend. So we're going to be north of this warm front as we go through the weekend. There's the rain, snow, especially in the higher elevations. Uh, the northern mountains of North Carolina could be mainly snow because it's going to take a while for this warm air to push the cold air farther north. And then the warm front will start to move south as that ridge of high pressure really starts to push all the moisture in here. This is tomorrow night into Sunday morning and then some leftover precipitation. But windy conditions could be cold. All right, so the alert mode for the mountains tonight above 3,500 feet after midnight tonight, some snow, sleet and rain. And then for tonight in the upstate, patches of rain after midnight, mainly late overnight, low 42 for tomorrow. Off and on rain, cloudy skies, a chilly day, high temperature 54 degrees. Four day plus looks like this. We're talking about just a cold off and on rain and the wind's going to make it feel even colder than that as you can see. As we go through finally middle and end of next week, we finally decide to warm up. It's going to finally start to feel like spring at least for a little while, but in the mountains, no spring weather. Winter hangs tough. Wet snow, especially for the higher elevations. So.